The United States Air Force is home to the powerful B-1 Lancer strategic bomber. The B-1 Lancer provides precise strikes, supports ground forces, and aids in strategic deterrence because of its stalled form, long-range capabilities, and diverse payload capacity. What preparations does a B-1 Lancer undergo before operations? Supersonic strategic bomber aircraft, the B-1 Lancer normally requires numerous important measures to prepare for operations. The B-1 Lancer goes through a comprehensive check before every mission to make sure it is airworthy. The systems, engines, weaponry, and other crucial components of the aircraft are examined by maintenance specialists to make sure they are in good working order. As required, any repairs or upkeep chores are carried out. A range of conventional and nuclear weapons can be carried by the B-1 Lancer. The aircraft is equipped with the proper weaponry, which may include guided bombs, cruise missiles, or other explosives, depending on the requirements of the operation. In order to maximize mission effectiveness and reduce dangers, the loadout is meticulously selected. Now let's discuss how this beast was built and the history of the B-1 Lancer. The U.S. built the B-1 Lancer, a strategic bomber aircraft, in the late 1960s and early 1970s. Throughout its lifetime, it underwent a number of design and operational modifications that resulted in the creation of a highly innovative and adaptable bomber. The United States Air Force planned to replace its fleet of B-52 Stratofortress bombers in the 1960s, which is when the B-1 was first developed. The B-1A supersonic bomber was the original idea. It was intended to breach Soviet airspace and deliver nuclear payloads. Budget issues caused the B-1A program to be eventually abandoned in 1977. After the B-1A was cancelled, the B-1B was constructed as an improved variant. Significant design upgrades were made to the B-1B Lancer, including improved low-level and high-speed performance characteristics. It can carry a variety of guided and unguided munitions and was primarily created for conventional, as opposed to nuclear combat. In October 1984, the first B-1B Lancer prototype flew for the first time, and in 1986, the United States Air Force began using the aircraft. With the incorporation of sophisticated avionics, radar systems, and electronic countermeasures to increase survivability and effectiveness, its launch represented a tremendous technological achievement. The B-1B Lancer was a significant aircraft that flew long-range bombing sorties against critical sites in Iraq during the 1991 Gulf War. It was a useful tool in the battle because of its capacity to fly at high speeds, low altitudes, and with heavy payloads. The B-1B Lancer underwent a number of improvements to increase its capabilities in the years that followed. These improvements included the incorporation of precision-guided weapons, upgraded radar systems, and improved networking and communication capabilities. Do you know that the B-1 Lancer is officially known as the Rockwell B-1B Lancer? Moving further, let's find out about the times when it delivered devastation in numerous operations. Since its inception, the B-1B Lancer has taken part in a number of wars and military actions. B-1B Lancers were stationed there during the Gulf War and were crucial to the air assault against Iraq. They carried out long-range bombing operations, hitting key targets such as infrastructure, airfields, and military facilities. During the Kosovo War, the B-1B Lancer took part in NATO's intervention in the Balkans. It performed a number of flights, hitting targets in Kosovo and Serbia, while also providing close air support. The B-1B Lancer participated actively in the Iraq War by carrying out multiple sorties against Iraqi objectives. It participated in efforts to weaken Saddam Hussein's regime, struck vital targets, and provided close air support to ground forces. The multinational military operation in Libya involved the B-1B Lancer. In order to establish a no-fly zone and safeguard civilians, it carried out airstrikes against Libya targets. Enough ferocious discussions. Let's talk about what its cockpit looks like from inside. Modern avionics and equipment are installed in the B-1B Lancer's cockpit to assist the pilot and crew during missions. I am unable to give visual examples, but I can describe the cockpit's overall design and major elements. Both the pilot and co-pilot have seating in the cockpit. Ejection seats, which could eject the crew in an emergency, are positioned side by side on the Martin Baker M key. WU-10-A The B-1B Lancer's instrument panel is furnished with a variety of displays and equipment. It gives the crew important flying information, navigational data, and system conditions. 
Typically, these displays are multifunction displays, or MFDs, which may be configured to present different types of information as needed. The HUD on the B-1B Lancer projects crucial flying information onto a transparent screen in front of the pilot and co-pilot. The HUD enables the crew to maintain eye contact while obtaining crucial data including airspeed, altitude, heading, and weapon system data without taking their eyes off the cockpit. A variety of controls and systems to control the aircraft and its many systems are located in the cockpit. Included in this are controls for navigation, communication, and weapon systems, as well as flying controls including throttles, control sticks, and rudder pedals. These controls can be used by the crew to steer the aircraft, run sensors, and control armaments. The aircraft's electronic warfare and defensive equipment are controlled and shown in the cockpit. This covers countermeasures including chaff and flare makers, missile warning systems, radar warning receivers and other devices. These systems can be monitored and managed by the crew to increase the aircraft's resilience in dangerous situations. The cockpit has radios, navigational systems, and data link capabilities as part of its communication and navigational equipment. These devices enable the crew to interact with other aircraft, ground control, and receive real-time situational awareness information. Moving further, let's discuss how many B-1B Lancers are there. Over the years, a fleet of about 104 B-1B Lancer aircraft has been created. These bombers are the product of meticulous planning, cutting-edge technology, and laborious work. They look sophisticated and feature contemporary systems. These planes are employed to fly through the air, launching devastating attacks and defending the nation. The abundance of B-1B Lancers is evidence of the government's dedication to establishing a powerful and effective air force. It demonstrates how crucial the B-1B Lancer program is to defense and will remain. Is the B-1B Lancer stealth? In comparison to certain other contemporary stealth bombers like the B-2 Spirit or the F-22 Raptor, the B-1B Lancer is not regarded as a stealth aircraft. The B-1B Lancer uses some design elements to lessen its radar signature, but for survival it mostly relies on its high speed, low altitude capabilities, and sophisticated electronic warfare weapons. The integrated wing body design of the B-1B Lancer aids in lowering its radar cross-section. To further reduce its radar signature, it contains radar-absorbent materials in specific regions of the aircraft. The B-1B's stealth capabilities, it should be noted, fall short of those of specialized stealth aircraft. The B-1B Lancer's primary focus is on its capacity to fly at high speeds and low altitudes, which enables it to breach enemy air defenses and deliver its payload. To increase its potential to survive in hostile circumstances, it is outfitted with sophisticated electronic warfare gear, including as radar jammers, chaff and flare dispensers, and other defensive tools. What about its nuclear suitability? The B-1B Lancer indeed has nuclear capability and the U.S. has employed aircraft as a platform for nuclear bombs. Its intended purpose as a strategic bomber was to transport and deliver nuclear payloads. The B-1B Lancer is equipped to launch a variety of nuclear weapons, including cruise missiles and gravity bombs. The B-1B Lancer is a highly adaptable platform for a variety of missions due to its flexibility and capacity to carry a wide variety of conventional weapons. Although nuclear capability is still a crucial component of its design and operational capabilities, the United States government and military leadership must decide how to utilize it in this capacity based on political and strategic factors. Were you aware that in October 1993, a B-1B Lancer set four world records for speed, payload, and time to climb in its class? It achieved the fastest time around the world for its weight class, completing the journey in just under 36 hours. Moving further, let's talk about his specifications. The B-1B Lancer is capable of giving ground forces close air support or CAS. It has the ability to fly quickly and low, making precise attacks on enemy positions, armor or other targets that are close to friendly forces. It supports ground operations well due to its adaptable weaponry and extended loiter time. The B-1B Lancer may perform interdiction operations, which entail interfering with or obliterating hostile communication lines, supply routes, or transportation networks. To impede an enemy's movement and logistics, it can attack targets like bridges, railroads, roads, or hostile convoys. Specialized reconnaissance pods are installed aboard the B-1B Lancer to collect surveillance and intelligence information. 
It can carry out reconnaissance missions to obtain visual or electronic intelligence, keep an eye on enemy movements, or evaluate the state of the battlefield. The B-1B Lancer is a monument to human intellect, engineering skill, and military invention. The B-1B Lancer continues to demonstrate its enormous value and lasting influence on modern warfare, whether it is delivering precise strikes, offering close air support, or acting as a deterrence force. This powerful aircraft represents the steadfast dedication to defending national interests and preserving international security. What are your views about this aircraft? Do let us know in the comments below.